Hey guys, what's up? It's Taco here. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is a little congested. I'm a little sick right now. But that's okay. Um, so in the last video... <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, this guy told me to make maps from Undertale. And so, we did make this map. I'm sorry if that was a little hard to do that. Um, but in this tutorial, we're going to be making collisions. Um, so, we're going to create a new sprite. We're going to call it S wall we're gonna change the width and height to be um 32 by 32 and i'm gonna click apply and an image then we're gonna click red well you can pick any color you want i'm gonna pick like red like i said before and then i'm filling it red and then i'm gonna click this i'm gonna go to edit layer properties you don't have to do this i'm just gonna do this to make it look cooler. Um, it'll actually be invisible in the game, but it'll, it'll be easier to do when you're um, editing the world. So I just made it half transparent by going to here and clicking Edit Layer Properties and changing this to 50 or whatever you want. If you want to have it an easier way, you can just go to here and then go to alpha and then change it like halfway like that but I didn't do that so now we're gonna go to S wall here and click middle center so it's centered and yeah let me close that part because it's taking so long oh I forgot to show you guys see these things in the left uh, left and right and on the bottom if you click them, we'll just close that window, and if you click it again, it'll just open it. So, I I really like that function, and so now, if you click Alt-O, or if you click Create Object, you can create an object, and I'll put in O-Wall. <clears throat> and then here you can put an S-Wall, and then, uh, actually, yeah, that's all we need. Um, and then we can go to O-Frisk, and then to here, we can see all this stuff, and so what we're going to do, is we're going to say, if not, oh, hold on, let's go back to create, I just want to see something, okay, so since speed equals 4, I'm going to do this, so if place well, speed can be anything you want, you, you know, but, um, since this is a variable, it doesn't really affect anything. Um, just go place meeting, and, and, so, since this is the down key, we're gonna say X, and then Y, and then plus, um, <clears throat> speed, and then, a uh, wall, a wall. And then we're gonna, so basically what this is telling us is if we are colliding with a wall, this, which is gonna be our collision, um, then do this stuff. But also, it's saying if our Y, um, if we're colliding it from our speed away, um, then... Um, then it'll return true. Um, so, I'm gonna click, um, I'm gonna give it an exclamation point before all this, and basically what that means is that, um, what this means is that, um, it's not this. So, say, like, um, it could be, like, so basically it's saying if it's not Touching the O wall, then do this. So we're gonna do this, and uh, um, go down to here and do this. And then we're gonna take these guys, tab it forward, and then um, hold on. Whoops. Okay, so. 
I'm actually going to delete this part. Ha, <coughs> ah, whoops. I'm going to click Control X and um, cut that part. And then um, paste it back here. And then I'm going to put that back there. Sorry, I made a mistake. That can show you that mistakes happen. Um, now here, let's say else. And then while um, place, no, not place, not place, um, meeting x, y, x, y plus sign, um, speed. Um, then, O, wall, um, then, this, um, we're gonna say, Y, plus, equals, sign, speed. Sorry. Um, there. So, if we go into rooms, we have to, let me explain what this is saying. So, it's saying, what else means is this, like it said in the last video, it means if um, it's the complete opposite. So, it's like, if it's meaning blah blah blah. And then, what this is saying is, um, if y plus 1. Um, so what sign means is if this value isn't negative, then it will return as negative 1, but if it's positive, it will return as 1. It actually gets pretty helpful. Um, okay, so, yeah. So, in room 0, I only did this for the down, um, collision. Oh. Change it, um, I'll do it for the next collision. I just want to test it. So I'm going to change this to 3 instead of that. And I'm going to put the collision right here. And then I'll use these ends to stretch it out. Um, and there. We'll see what happens. Give it a sec. There. See? You can't touch it now. You can't touch the... <coughs> you can't move down on it now. So that's, that's a pretty good improvement. So, yeah. Now, if I were you... I would, um, go and just copy this, and then control V that, and then change this to left key, and, um, left key, and then change to this, delete this, and go minus speed and then change sprite index to move left and change this to x change this to minus um change this to minus change y to x change this to x and change this to minus. Delete this part. Be really careful with this part because you can get it really confused. So for left key, just like kind of copy what I'm doing. Try really hard not to mess up. And if you have any errors, put it in the comments. And put left there and then 
for here, we'll put left. If I didn't explain it well enough, just saying while, um, because if we just keep going four, 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 when we touch that thing and we can't move, um, we'll get stuck there, probably, so. And then it'll look kind of bad if we have this gap between the wall, so that's why we have it. Sorry if I didn't explain it well enough. <clears throat> if you want, I can put it in the comments if you ask me. <coughs> Sorry. Um. Okay, so this is X minus, X minus, X minus. Just checking myself. Yeah, it looks good. Um. Now. That looks good, too. Okay. Now. We'll do that, but with the right key. If right key, um, <clears throat> this will change into X, and we'll, um, put Y there, and we'll put X. Right. X. X. Y. Left. No, right. And then this is right. And then this is up key. We'll just select this stuff. And control V. And we'll change this to up key. Um, we'll change the plus to a minus. We'll change the down to an up. We'll change the plus to a minus. We'll change the plus to a minus. <laughs> we'll change the plus to a minus. We'll change the down to an up. And we'll change the down to an up. Okay, so now we can go in our room. Let's add a few more collisions. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to delete that last collision I had. I'm going to create a new layer. And um, if I click this little button, and see I have a new layer now. And let's change this grid X to 1 by 1. And grid Y to ah, 1. Sorry. Um. If we zoom in now, we can go to there, and Sorry, let's just put one here. And then I'm stretching them out so they will fit this stuff. Um, there we go. And then we can put one here. And then put one here. 
And then take this. Put that there. Take this. Put that there. Then I'm gonna take this. And put that there. Okay, that should be good. There, yeah, that should be good. Um, now I can click play. And... We should not be able to touch this stuff. And you can see we have a, like a little overlap, but we can fix that by taking that... Uh, but, okay, sorry. You can fix that by, see, this little eye where all this stuff is in? Just click it, and then all of it will be gone. It's still there. It's still there. It's just, um, it's not be, it's like invisible. So we can just turn this on, and then it should work. Yeah, cool. And see, you can't touch this stuff. And there's one more mistake I made, except that was from a different video. Hold on. Yeah, see, this looks a little cool. Um. Yeah. Um. So it's that these um move things don't have the same speed. And so each of them should have a speed of six to make them look like the original thing. And how you do that is you go to this little thing, speed, and then you change 15 to six. Or maybe it's some other number. Maybe it's default at 15. Or maybe it's default on like 30. But mine was default at 15. It doesn't really matter what speed it was, but just change it to six. And go to right and change this to six. Go to up and change this to six. And then that should fix this beard problem. Let's see. Give it a second. And come on, little guy. There. Um yeah. So oh, I just realized something. A guy's a little faster than the real Undertale um, Frisk, so I'm just going to go to Crate and change speed to 2. Actually, I'm going to change it to 2.5. And then we'll see how that works. Okay. Um, there. Um, so yeah, yeah, that looks a lot like Undertale. In the next one, we're probably going to do transitions or text boxes. Um, probably transition stuff. So, um, see you guys in the next video. Uh, yeah. Thank you.